Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with the second installment of my winter 2021-22 Bath & Body Works collection update. If you saw in my last video, and I'll link it down below, about my current soaps that I have, um, I'm doing this series in installments because I just don't have a space in my apartment that's conducive to just putting my collection all together. So um, throughout the months of December and in January, you will find um, you know, a series of these kind of short videos where I just go category by category and share with you what I have in my collection. So like I said, I've done soaps, I'll link it down below. And today I have shower gel, so let's get right into it. So I have three black raspberry vanillas. This is a favorite of my husband's and I love it during the fall. I have a rose champagne, two bourbon strawberry and vanillas, which is very special to me, an original strawberry pound cake, raspberry jam donut, pear berry, pretty as a peach, and two honeysuckle peach teas. I also have one more love and sunshine, three iced pear margaritas, cherry limeade, watermelon lemonade. This is probably the most recent addition to my shower gel collection. It's a tea tree, tea tree and lavender from aromatherapy. I have two beautiful days, one in a million, candied violet sorbet, and strawberry. And just like I did in my soap collection, down below I separated out the items that are in my winter use it up challenge just so I don't accidentally kind of mix them back into my collection. So what I have left for my winter challenge, which by the way runs until February 28th, I have a Love Cotton Candy Champagne. So I didn't start with that, but I actually decluttered an item out of my challenge and I just replaced it with that. So Love Cotton Candy Champagne. Berry Waffle Cone, Pink Chiffon, Another Raspberry Jam Donut, Warm Vanilla Sugar, Another Love and Sunshine, and Another Ice Pear Margarita. So all up, including the items that I have left in my challenge, that's 31 shower gels. It's an increase of three from when I did this about seven months ago. So it is a little bit disheartening to see that I have increased my collection, but I think I can kind of live with it to a certain extent. I think I just need to be really mindful of my shower gel purchasing during winter SAS. So what that means is I think that I'll need to put together a wish list of shower gels, just so I'm not kind of like going crazy and grabbing whatever. Because as you know, shower gels are the item that I tend to experiment with. So I typically don't experiment with um, like a fine fragrance mist or a moisturizer just because I have to wear it on my body all day and if I don't love it then that's not gonna like make me happy but because I go through shower gels so quickly and if you've been with my channel for a while you know I'm kind of like a shower gel person that's why I tend to have a pretty large shower gel collection but again because I have an increase of three what that shows me is that even though I use them up I still need to buy fewer of them so like I said I'll just have to be really choosy during winter SAS, maybe have a plan for my shower gel purchasing and just kind of go from there. Um, I think that I should be able to cut this down for the next time I do a collection video in late spring, just because even though I love spring, I actually don't really buy that much spring body care from Bath & Body Works because I feel like they tend to go from a spring transition to like tropical coconut. And even though I much prefer warmer weather over colder weather, I'm just kind of like not there emotionally by the time they launch it and therefore tend to kind of skip over the tropical stuff that launches usually in like February or March. I'm just kind of not there. So spring should be a good time for me to use up a number of these items. And I think that by the next collection, you should see fewer shower gels from me. So with that, I will leave you there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on the Instagram at Schoolhouse of Byron. I'll put that down below. And I'll see you next time with my moisturizers. See ya.